Investigators going to be working to figure out why a massive fire flared three separate times at that McDonald's on Greenall Road North beginning Thanksgiving afternoon. The building is destroyed. Fox News' Anaya Spraggs picks up the story. Early Friday morning, as the sun rose in Fairhope, police tape, shattered glass, and debris were seen in the parking lot of the McDonald's on Greeno Road North. The restaurant is usually packed, but the sight of the building with its roof now caved in shocks regular customers like Daryl Nelson. Say it. It's sad when something like this happens. Nelson says the restaurant was run by friendly managers. After watching footage of the fire on Facebook, Nelson drove to the restaurant to see how bad the damage was. Fairhope Volunteer Fire Department Fire Chief Chris Ellis says the initial call came in around 3 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Crews got here, made an aggressive attack, and knocked everything down. When we left at 7.30, there was no smoke or fire. But hours later, crews received a second call at 9 p.m., Video from a viewer shows how massive the flames were at that time and how heavy the smoke was. Around 9 a.m. Friday morning, I called 911 myself after noticing some heavy smoke once again coming from the roof. The roof has collapsed, so there's going to be pockets of heat that, that pop up from time to time, unfortunately. Chief Ellis says crews from Fairhope, Daphne, Spanish Fort, Marlow, and Silver Hill responded. Chief Ellis also says there were staff inside when the fire started, but thanks to the efforts made by each agency, no one was injured. As for what caused this fire, that's still under investigation. The building's a total loss, um, but I can't say enough about the hard work of the crews. Chief Ellis says crews will continue to monitor the building to ensure the fire is actually out. In Fairhope, Anaya Spraggs, Fox 10 News.